Yo ho! Welcome to my channel. This is Megan, the Colorful Pirate, and today I'm going to show you all of my coloring booty that I amassed during April. And as quite a bit of fun stuff, so buckle up, um, get a snack, all that jazz, and I'll just go ahead and start with some of the stuff you see here. I um, got some Enchanted Shimmers from Michaels. I got some new colors that I didn't have, and I have swatched them out. So I got gold, violet, and green. And these are right here. Let's see if I can get you to focus. Um, yeah, there you go. So they show up really nice on a dark background, but there's still a good hint on the white. Um, on the white background. So, excited to get that. I was in Michael's. I had a coupon because, well, maybe I'll talk about it later, but I had like a $30 voucher. And so, um, I knew that I, those were the few that I didn't have. And what I really need to do is have photos of this <laughs> with me on my phone so that when I decide to, you know, go into a store, I can make sure I'm not double buying. But luckily, no double buys here. <clears throat> Uh, I ordered all of these Tombow uh, open stock markers. I got two that I didn't order and two were missing. So they're sending me the two that were missing, um, which is fine. I'm glad that was good customer service. So I went a little crazy this month because I ended up getting approved for a Michaels credit card and they had already had like a 30% off sale going on. And on top of that, I got 20% off on my first credit card. So I did order a bunch of stuff online. A lot of it is like stationery and art journaling stuff, which I've gotten quite a bit more into um, lately. And I will probably make a separate video for that if, um, and we'll kind of see if people want to see that here or not. Maybe I should start another channel if I'm going to get really into that, but I don't know. I don't know if I have the time to keep two channels going. Anyway, back to the coloring supplies haul. I have all of these new Tombows. So I got pretty good deals on buying them all open stock as well, and I have gotten a lot further along in my filling out my sheet. So I got most of the greens now, most of the blues. I really need to get my grays picked up, and just a few more that, like for some reason, Michael didn't even have an option to tell me they were out of like baby yellow and like the baby pink. But then when I was in the store, oh boy, you can't even see that, can you? When I was in the store on Monday, they had the baby pink. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, I'm pretty close to having the whole set, which is nice. <clears throat> and having them in that, that bag that I, or the, the case that I bought last month has really helped me use them a lot more. Um, so then I got a really good deal on this 12 pack. This I got on Amazon. Um, I think it was only like 50 bucks for 12, which I think is a pretty, uh, was a pretty good deal. I mean, most of the time those 12 packs are like 70, 80 bucks. I don't know, but I felt pretty happy. So I want to say it was like a 2018 set or something. I don't know, but, um, yeah, pretty good, nice little mix of colors here. Milled lavender, pumice stone, chipped sapphire, pine needles, festive berries, Victorian velvet, rusty hinge, shabby shutters. Shabby shutters, say that 50 times fast. Uh, scattered straw, brushed corduroy, dried marigold, and weathered wood. And I did kind of made a mistake here on... Um, let's see, this lighting is weird. What if I change the color? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I stick with this. I'll turn it down. Anyway, I cut this out of my mixed media book, and it's 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 actually too long to go in my new swatch book, but it's it's fine. <laughs> I'll just kind of have it in there, so. Here are all the nice colors. 
Um, ooh, hello. Okay. Um, these are pretty similar. This is a little bit darker. Um, yeah. And some of these I've already had, so I've, I've put all of them on here and try to put them in color order. So yeah, I feel pretty good about being able to, to experiment more with backgrounds and like creative journaling and whatnot using this range of colors. And next up we got some pins. I uh, found this pack of 10 Paper Mate Flare Metallics, which are supposed to be, I guess, kind of new. Um, it says store upside down, which will be interesting to try to figure out how to do. I guess I could put them in a cup. Um, I swatched those out here, and <laughs> I'm not impressed. We got a little bit of a metallic here. But I mean, most of them have maybe, a, like you can see a little bit of glitter here. Maybe they restored, like this one's a little bit shiny. They're more glittery than metallic-y, honestly. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Why is this green so, so much brighter than everything else? Uh, they were on sale for, I mean, I think I saw in Walmart they were selling a, a 10 pack for like 20 bucks and these were on sale in Target I found for 13, so pretty happy with that. Um, I mean, besides, the, I'm not, I guess I'm not happy with it. I, I'm glad I didn't spend full price for these, for that. It's nothing. Nothing's going on there. Let me upload this camera. Okay. Um. I got these jelly roll. So when I was in Michael's as well, they had like a buy one, get one half off on like a marker sets, gel pen sets, all that. So I, I wanted some dot markers and I found these to try those out in my creative journaling and also backgrounds and stuff. And that's just the Michael's version. And um, I put this. So I put those here. And I like them a lot. They're, they've are they got like a zebra kind of mild liner. Rain, like, you know, it's that kind of lighter highlighter colors. Which is nice. And then um, these, I knew, I definitely knew I didn't have these in my set. So I got that because I didn't really make like gray jelly rolls. So here's those colors, the moonlights. Nice opaque ink. Um, they're, they're solidly different colors. They're not really showing up. My camera is that different, but I mean, it's a range of grays, so it's not that exciting, but nice to have. So, um, in that kind of range of the uh, mild liners, see, here's the mild liners I have. I wish I would have had this. I, I wanted to get a bigger pack of these or another set. They sell them in smaller sets, and uh, maybe I should try. Just seems like it's washing out, so that that's not better, is it? Well, we're just gonna have to go with it. Um But yeah. So those are the zebras that I've already had. So these are the these down here are these Sharpies. I got this at the Dollar Tree for five dollars. Um but yeah, I mean compared to the zebras. A little bit more eastery, but yeah, so that's that. And I got some glue pins from Amazon because I got this set of glitter confetti from um, the Dollar Tree for three dollars. So this one's got like hearts. Hexagons, stars, more hexagons, more stars. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I can try, you know, then I got these off Amazon. They're um, 
Zig. Is that Kuratake? Yeah, Kuratake Zig glue markers in three different sizes. So that's pretty cool. We'll try that out. While I was in the Dollar Tree, I also got these these new. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about um, using these markers and backgrounds, like Colored by Maya. Uh, I know specifically, she was using them, and I I tried one of them in the background of something, and I, I like I like how it turned out. And if I can find, so that's these here. And they've got, you know, a nice, this one's pretty bright, the silver, and that was, like, there, there's this jot, or journaling ink, um, and then crafters square. So these two are journaling ink, silver, and lavender. I think there's a couple other colors I haven't gotten. And then this is the, the gold and the copper. And, I mean, they definitely, like, it kind of sucks because compared to all these glitter pens over here, they're not, they're not doing much. So just look over here. Uh, yeah. They're nice. They're, they're like, they give a interest to the background while kind of still being subtle. And also while I was at Michael's, I got these, uh, whew, these distress sprays, mica spray. And I've, oh man, all right. Can we even, so I've sprayed them on this piece of paper. So this is like the pewter one. I know it's hard to see. I mean, it's faint. The effect is supposed to be faint. This one was the like bronze, and then this one was like I don't know how, which one is it. Brass, yeah. Man, let's see. Let's turn this. There we go. Hello. Let's lock that in. Just turn it down a little bit. Okay. So now you can kind of see. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll really use it in coloring books, but that's uh, something I bought. I also uh, saw these on Jamie's Coloring Love talking about that Arteza had released some different sets of uh, gouache colors. I already have a 60 set. Um, and the other new 12 sets that they had, I don't know if they're new, but I've never seen them before, had all those colors in them, except these. These are these are new. These are not in the 60 set. So it's like a, a pastel range. I have not swatched these. Sorry. So let me get two little trays. There's the pastel colors and then the neon colors. So those are really nice using in backgrounds as well. Um, and I know this isn't technically a supply, but I, you know, with book depository going bye bye, I decided to um, get a few things that I know I hadn't seen anywhere else. And one was this uh, mythical world jigsaw puzzle. I've been collecting some puzzles, and at some point, I'm gonna start doing them. <laughs> Just with a three year old, I don't think it's the best idea. But maybe when he's older, we can do them together. And this is just really cool. It's from Good Wives and Warriors. And so it just shows... Um, it's like a map of the world, but with all these crazy uh, mythological creatures in each place. So, pretty cool. It, uh, it, it goes with that, um, that Mythical Beast book. I recognize some of these creatures from there. So, um, pretty excited about that. So speaking of the demise of Book Depository, I ended up um, ordering anything else on my wish list that I didn't have yet so that I could just have it, you know, and uh, I had tried to get this from them the month before and then it just, one of the books that never showed up and they refunded me, but I just went ahead and I tried again. I'm glad I got it. This is the Doming book. I'm sorry I didn't write any of these translations down, but I will have everything linked as usual in the bottom if you want to go check. Oh, oh, no, I can't check. I can't do that anymore, can I? 
Uh, <laughs> sad. Uh, I will at least try to put a translation. Um, but if you pause and you zoom in and you use like Google Lens or, you know, whatever you use to QR codes, it can usually give you a translation. Or you could at least copy paste the writing and try to put that somewhere. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be very useful. <laughs> but this is the doming book about like made up mental health issues or something to that effect. Um, ooh, let's get this. There we go. It's really nice paper. You get like two versions of each with an example over here. Um, it's really cool images. Very unusual. And I love having unusual things in my um, collection. Gosh, it almost looks gross, but it's just it's just bedding. I guess that's the effect, huh? Um, yeah, this is so cool. It's, and it's like it's like watercolor paper. I mean, it's not quite toothed, but it's thick. It's not really just it's not just cardstock. I got this. Um, oh, you know what? I got this one from Amazon Japan. Uh, so I will be able to link this. This is like some magical kitty book. It's in line with your, your Yuri's sketchbook series. The bears in town. And then there's also a rabbit version. It's pretty similar to this. But I love cats. I think this cat is super cute. Um, it's interesting how they have different recipes. And the cat's kind of going around collecting... Um, I guess he's like an apothecary. Because throughout the book he's taking orders and he's building things or like making recipes. Super cute. Oops, sorry, that was loud. Um, this one is also from Amazon Japan. It says something about fairy tales by Yoshimi Sekiguchi. Um, oh, I didn't realize there were Four colored things in the back. Um, yeah, really nice line work. Tells something of a story that you can use the Google Lens to translate if you want. Wow, that's really busy. Oh, I love this. Is this like weird owlfish? It's a very strange image. Because here you have birds flying. But it does, it carries over, and then there's just fish flying? That's just really cool. Uh, I also had tried to order this from Book Depository at one point, and it never showed up. But I did it again, and it did come up this time. I think there was a much better job done in selecting the postcard scenes in this one than the Europe one. I really like it. Oh, I need to stop doing that. Uh, Anna Marie, she had um, some stuff in a recent Coloring Habit magazine. Um, yeah, in number 99, uh, Gothic Beauty special. She had a My Chemical Romance reference. Where is it? Oh, come on. Yeah. So she had this My Chemical Romance uh, reference. And I was like, whoa, that's cool. And I wanted to go check her out because I've seen, I feel like I've seen her art in another coloring heaven and I really liked it. I was working on this one. Um, I still need to work on that. Uh, yeah, I love my chemical romance. My little goth emo heart. <laughs> Very much like these. So I looked her up and I saw that she was putting out soon a uh, my chemical romance themed coloring book. And that's what this is. I wasn't expecting it to be so small. Um, but that's okay. And I did not also know that she is from Kazakhstan. So I was very surprised when... My mail person had me sign this kind of crazy looking little tiny package. And I even put, uh, this is something that new that I started, uh, the Hobonichi uh, Spring Start. I'm trying to do some like memory keeping journaling. But um, yeah, so I put like 
the uh, part of the package that surprised me. So this was like a little art card that came in there. Um, and then this was her card. And, uh, and then this was the, all of the stamps <laughs> that was on the package. I've never, I've, I've been, it's just super crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, yeah, and then I just did my, talking about My Chemical Romance, um, uh, and the sticker that came in it. So I thought that was really cool and, and unusual. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to the coloring book. It's only a few images, but it was only like $15, I want to say, not even that. And honestly, it was supporting a, uh, a real artist, no AI. I'm going to start making more of an effort to do that. So yeah, a lot of these, I just have like quotes from the band and, um, Makes me like, my mom used to belt out John Denver, you know, when she was feeling nostalgic and she'd just be singing at her computer as loud as she can. That's going to be me with my chemical romance, <laughs> my poor son. Um, I saw this in Walmart and I picked it up. Thomas Kincaid, this is just, I guess, the Dreams collection. I have the princess one that was all weirdly chopped up uh, paintings, but this one seems to be the whole painting and more variety not just i guess really not many princesses at all there's a lot in this too <laughs> i'm surprised there's a princess huh Ooh, right here. <laughs> okay so yeah there's that um, and then, yes, the rest of what I got from Book Depository, uh, this is a Korean, oh man, I'll try to, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll list at least who it, the, who it is. This, this person did the, like, my dream room, my dream town, which I, I think are all right, uh, but I don't know, the, the images in this postcard book, I like better, and I couldn't spend all my money at the time. On book depository. So I got this. And color yonding, uh, life, somebody, uh, thank you. I forget who you are, but you're in the comments. You explained to me on my last video that the pesos is the same number as the dollar sign. And so it looks like it's a lot of money when you're looking at a Mexican, um, website to order something but it's, it's not it's 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 different currency but it uses the same sign and that's why i was confused so thank you for explaining that but i went ahead and got i this is the only other one i really wanted um the life ones it's got a lot of like cool plant motifs um so i have this one then diosos mortis mortis sorry yeah i like this one a lot And to the ends of the earth, this is, I have not been able to find this on anywhere else except Book Depository, so I had to get it. Um, the longest coloring book in the world. There's another one that's like the deepest coloring book or something. It goes from like the bottom of the ocean to the space, but it didn't seem as interesting as this one. So this is by Good Wives and Warriors, which again, the other one was not by Good Wives and Warriors. So it just kind of like pulls out and you get all this. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Um, I like that the background is kind of already filled in for you. And it kind of keeps getting darker as you go along. It'd be quite the accomplishment to get something like this finished. Oh, I need otters. I love otters. I, at the end of the month, finally, I was so scared this wasn't going to show up, the, all the new Kanoko Agusa designs, I really need to stop being so scared, because I love it so much, I'm scared to color it, um, but what's the point? I need to color it. So I'm glad these, these are all new, it's so cool, I'm glad they're really 
got some awesome for their 100th issue. So yeah, super happy about that. Um, in my last haul video, I noticed that this had uh, some printing errors in it. And so I emailed them and they sent me a brand new copy without any printing errors, free of charge. Thank you, Dover Publications. Uh, this is the only Coco Wild book I got, and I don't know if any of you have looked at Coco Wild's Amazon lately, but I was on there yesterday, and all of their books have been pulled, at least to the point where they say out of print, unavailable. A lot of them are just not even listed anymore, like this one, which makes me believe that this is probably AI art. And I had a feeling Coco Wild was going to go that way, because I don't know, I feel like they were paying artists and like buying the rights to the images through something like fiber or something before. Um, and then this, it's cute and it honestly didn't, I mean, that kind of does scream AI, but there, maybe it was like fixed by an artist afterwards. Um, so I don't know, this, this may be the one AI book that I, I keep in color still, but it's gone. Um, and all of their newer books, uh, were just completely eradicated. So I'm wondering if they were all using AI like that Magical Life one that had a lot of, um, like that latest one, it had a lot of uh, the vibe and feeling of a lot of different um, coloring book artists, like Jojo, um, Jojo, like Johanna Bassford and Hannah Carl's on. I just, I saw elements of like all of the, fit, like the big name coloring book artists uh, in that book. And it was nice, and I was thinking about getting it, but I still had my suspicions. And the fact that, like, they've basically uh, been pulled from Amazon makes me think that they might have gotten a copyright hit because of that. So, whoops. Anyway, this is uh, Coloring Nights and Dam Damsels by Emily Appleswitch. I was looking at the other books um, by this artist that are, uh, um, like, Carnival and a couple, uh, like, other, like, um that like art novu like kind of extreme style coloring books and, and I still kind of think I might get one of those but this one I saw it and I just immediately had to get it coloring knights and damsels the style is so interesting it's on cream paper I didn't even know you could get cream paper from a, an Amazon print but um I just love the style and you know I was just saying I wish there was more like King Arthur books coloring books in here this is very this is vibing. Arthurian tales, kind of. I mean, it's not explicitly so, but it's, it's really cool. Very fine details. Um, yeah. Super cool. Uh, Space Doodles by Kilt Colored Caramel. Uh, colored by Jamie, Jamie's Coloring Love, um, showed this, and I really liked it. I have a lot of these doodle books that I haven't colored yet, so I need to make an effort to do that, because I do. I think this is so cute and fun. I love all, there's always a dragon page in each one of these books that I have, and I, it's like my favorite, and that's why I end up buying it, so I need to, I need to get to coloring them. Um, but yeah, I love, love it. It's so cute. Uh, I did a book outlet haul um, because I was trying to get, I know I, this book had come on my radar and interestingly, I noticed it came on uh, to a couple other colors uh, like Doodle Robot. Everybody's been mentioning that they saw this book first on her page, but um, I did not see that in her video first. It came up in some sort of search for me. Um, and I, uh, so, but all I could find were, like, used copies. So, I tried this version first, and it was supposed to be, like, new or very good, and it, it's not. There's a page ripped out and put back in, or multiple. I mean, it's just, there's over, there's so many pages that were colored in this and half colored, and it just it was not as advertised. That's thrift books for you, though. I really need to stop buying from thrift books, because it keeps happening. But they do just refund me and don't ask for it back, so... So then I tried on Amazon, I saw that there was another one up as this one was like very good condition. And it also, 
it's like a ton of pictures. Who are these people <laughs> telling me that this is in very good condition? Minimally colored. Like, come on. Min minimal markings. No. So then when I was on Book Outlet, just, just seeing what there was, there was one, one copy of this left. And I said, you know what? I gotta do it. And I got it. And it's pristine. I don't even think there's a black mark on it. Yeah, so pristine coloring book. Really nice. I keep collecting these types of coloring books too. I just love this. The imagery and like the intricacy of the knots. And then like they all have names and like our concepts, protection. This is just it's a really cool book. Mothers and her offspring. I'm really glad I was able to get a, a clean copy. Because, like, I just couldn't find, like, a new one on Amazon at all. It was all used. So, in order to, like, finish that order off, I just... I know I said I wasn't going to get these two. <laughs> but they were on Book Outlet, so I did. A million cats. A million creepy, weird. Very strange. Making me kind of uncomfortable cats. Uh, like Slender Man, but like Fat Cat. I don't, I don't know. It's a very strange book. She had a, she had a very different style in the beginning. I feel like it was more um, Asian influenced. I'm not exactly sure where she's from, but A Million Dollars kind of had the same vibe. Too many pugs in this. I feel so sorry for them every time I see pictures of them. I think about their scrunched up little skull and how much it must just be painful even to live. Are there? Oh yeah, there's little tiny dogs in there. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Full set itis, I guess. <laughs> Hit me there. Um, but this is cool. This is on their color your own Klimt. I love Klimt, but holy cow. How am I supposed to? <laughs> How am I supposed to color that? Like, who did this? Who did this and said, yeah, that's gonna work for a coloring book? Mm, this is one of my favorites. Can you see that? Let's see. Can I do with this? There you go. Some of them aren't as bad. Just, of course, there's the, the famous one. I don't think you get any. Oh, yeah. Okay, you get some some colored versions in there. Let me see. Yeah, on the back as well. For reference. <laughs> and then um, I've seen Carrie Kate do some really cool stuff out of this book. Hold on. Um, oh, my God. I gotta try to hurry up. The lawnmower people just showed up. Anyway, seeing Carrie Kay working in these kind of books. Thought it was cool. Got it off book outlet for cheap. Give it a try. It kind of, I've been wanting, since I, a long time ago, I was wanting to, like, work on, like, abstract watercolors and putting lines on it. So, that'd be pretty cool to do that. Square books. I got Mythographic Aquatica. Uh, Aquatic, I think, I actually got this off of book outlet. Um, this is one of the few... That I was missing. That I still wanted. It's one of the earlier ones. Still has hidden objects. But there, his was always more um, camouflaged. More hidden. I got my copy. Oh, this I also got from Book Outlet. Tony Millionaire Sea Monsters. The Drunk Crow. There was like briefly, he had an animated show on Cartoon Network. And I always loved it. And that was even before I, like, got, like, you know, made being a pirate part of my personality. <laughs> but I loved it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of really cool, very line drawing. Uh, that's disturbing. <laughs> but, uh, there's some cool piratey stuff in here. Also some old man type stuff that I don't get. 
uh, Beauty of Horror 2. I got a clean copy. Last month I got a, just a water damaged horrible one, but I gave it another try and I got a clean copy this time. And so I'm really happy. I only have two more of these that I don't have and I need to get the new one. The new one I think is going to be my favorite. Um, ah, so cool. Enchanted Earth. This one came from Amazon and it was a little bit, it was way worse warped when I got it. Um, but oh, I love the images in this. I've been having it sit under some heavy books and it seemed to settle out. But I love the images, but the paper, well, I don't know. I guess it's just not like her old books. But love it. It's my favorite of hers. Um, and then I just, I got this Walmart daily day. Uh... All these cartoons, except for Ren and Stimpy. I didn't never watch Ren and Stimpy. I wasn't allowed to. But the rest of these are all Angry Beavers. Cat Dog. Cat Dog. Ah, Real Monsters. I love that one. Rugrats. I mean, this is just Rocco's Modern Life. <clears throat> it's my childhood in a book. And I probably never would have ordered it from Amazon, but when I was standing there in Walmart, I just I said I had to have it. And the final stack, um, I got, there's another Sugar Skulls book from Crayola. Uh, the other one is called, okay, so I got this one a really long time ago, and it's called Brain Candy, and then this one is called Skull Abrasions. So they're not the same book, which is great. <laughs> I was worried about that, but I didn't see anything I recognized. So just uh, really cool artwork in this one. All with skulls. Oh. Um, I got Be Relaxed in Color. It was on sale on Amazon. And I was looking at doing a book outlet order, but decided to just. It was only a few dollars more to get it fresh for sure. And I really like this one. There's a lot of really uh, cool images in this that speak to me. That's cool. I need to get back to working with her stuff. It was truly relaxing. Angela Porter, by the way. Uh, and then Colored by Maya mentioned that she had gotten this off Amazon. And I know I had looked for it a long time ago and it was not available. And so I rushed over and ordered me a Marty Woods book. Um, it's called Exotic Kingdom. It's just very interesting. Ooh, sorry. Uh, animals that are kind of made out of botanicals. I like the line work. It's very unusual. The botanicals are really cool. Decent card stock. That's just so cool. Oh, I love this one. I love the organic shapes. And I noticed that they had this other, um, oh, this is Flora Waycott. There were, I think Color by Maya also mentioned some Flora Waycott book that I didn't have. But when I looked at it, I decided I didn't want it. Um, but I did see this one and I couldn't find any flip through, so maybe I'll, I need to probably do that. And I ordered it kind of blind, but it was cheap. And I like it. And finally, the best thing that I got this month was a copy of this Escapes Collage Arts by Marty Noble. This is impossible to get a hold of. Um, one popped up on A Books. I got an email about it, and it was only like 30 bucks. And when I looked at like the other versions, they were all 60 70 so I scooped that up immediately. I've been wanting um, this book for a long time. This is back. Um, I really like Marty Noble's style at this time. And this book has a lot of um, Art Nouveau inspired uh, artwork and just the collage aspect. They're really interesting. And there's so many. Ooh, mermaid. That's cool. I need to put a thing in there. Um, but yeah, just really nice. 
I've seen some beautiful work done out of this. I'm so glad to get my hands on it. Like, yeah, here you oh, I love it. There's more of the Art Nouveau style up front. So you have, like, um... That's Mooka inspired. Japanese. There's a lot of different cultures. She she traveled around a lot. I believe I looked in her autobiography, in her biography, and it said that she traveled around the world, studying different art styles, and that's why she does what she does. Where is the one? Oh my goodness, I know it. I thought it was like right up front. Yeah, there it is. That's a famous, homage to a famous Muka advertisement for, I think, cigarettes. Um, so here's an old calendar that I have with that image in it. Oh gosh, okay, there you go. So yeah, she's reversed it and taken out the cigarette and put a flower there, which is nice. Um, but yeah, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Got a color in it. So, all right, that was it. That's everything that I hauled in April. And I should, um, maybe I've already put it up. Anyway, there'll also be a completed pages for the last three months I didn't get a whole lot of coloring done but I've been organizing and getting my space set up and now I've been really creative lately so I will see you in the next video and I hope your coloring cart stays full of all the goodies you could ever dream of bye bye